What I'm about to tell you is more obvious than the fact that a big, strong, angry guy can fuck harder than a little baby. The idea of Horus is the idea of making love in his true form, not the Greco-Roman twist. They deal in fairy tale, psyche, bullshit. It's pretty straightforward. This video is called Soulmate versus Sexy Chick Eros Slut Agape Bullshit. The word agape is a cut up of Alpha Gap E. The E is the beta, effeminate, emasculated, sissy, pussy, wussy, fatty, silly, shady, goofy, etc. All these E words seem to have to do with some kind of a beta form. It can be a brute who's, you know, he's a shady brute, right? He has, he's a brute beast. He's a brute beta minded, weak willed beast. We'll get into that momentarily. So what we see is that they superimposed Zeus. Poseidon was thick too. Hercules is a bigger guy. They superimposed this on the idea of Horus. Just like Superman is a thicker guy. Horus is the tall, skinny, you know, not really skinny, but athletic, right? Thinner. There's a difference between uh, uh, Shaggy Doo and Horus. Horus is like me, the six pack, strong, bench press maybe 350, Okay, but without not without being too massive, okay, it's spread out six four, okay, and he he's sensitive and insists on the truth. That's why Jesus is depicted the way he is. He's a, a white kind of gay fairy tale fake horse. Okay, the Greeks and all these people were big on sex cults, slave trading, and trying to pretend that they're ideal, and putting images of their families and statues and so on to try to make it seem like they're the ideal people. You're a fucking idiot. If you think even for a moment that they were, you're batshit crazy. I have no time for that stupidity. This video is for people who live in reality, not illusion, psychology, propaganda, pussies with no heart. Okay? Of course, that seems to be everyone else right now, but I'm going to throw that out there anyway because they're the ones who would understand it. Okay? So, and they're in the spiritual realm for nothing else. All right, so Zeus is associated with Crete. He's said to be born on Crete, and in some versions at least, he's related to King Minos. Okay? Minos had Daedalus build the labyrinth for him. Their family members include uh, pacify, to pacify someone. Okay? King Minos, pacify, Circe the witch, where we get the word church. Okay? Daedalus's labyrinth, Crete. See Crete society. What's the secret? Secretion. See Crete. You see how that works? Again, it is the soul which is associated with the sun, with the quote unquote, not someone who worships the sun, mind you, but the quote unquote sun god, Psalm 19, where the sun is a symbol of the champion, the top martial artist, and the bridegroom. The top martial artist, you know, uh, 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 Goliath was described as a champion. David was championing the cause of the Israelites. He was a champion. Okay, the son is the bridegroom. Jesus is the root and the offspring of David and the bright morning star, not Venus, which is Eros is mother, but God, who's symbolized by the sun, Malachi, the sun in righteousness, the bright morning star. All right, so they're trying to, basically what is going on is everyone in the divine order has a soul mate, okay? Somebody who's meant to be their wife, their husband, okay? In the divine order, because they have a son, which has to do with the son, which is similar to the spirit of God. It is so similar that they decided to confuse people about whether people actually worship the sun or the sun is a symbol, uh, is a communication, a symbol, and a work of God. Outside of the divine order, which is everyone outside of the gates who are too weak-willed, aka cowardly, to obey God through the king, who God has testified is his representative by allowing him to become so glorious through righteousness 
and justice and the moral warrior spirit of love. It's that simple. These people are breeding dead people because just like it says in, uh, I think it's James, the body without the spirit is dead. And James is said to be Jesus' brother. The body without the spirit is dead. Not just a brother, you know, you know, my brothers, I don't trust them to tell the truth about this stuff, but you get what I'm saying. Okay, Psyche. Psyche was raped by deception by Eros. She slept with them in the dark. She never saw what he looked like. She, got, she, got, she, she learned to look forward to their meetings, and she eventually had sex with them in the dark. This is the idea of confusing people about who you are, using psychology, psyche and psychology. That's where we get the word psych, psychology. Mean, psyche meaning soul, a female wings deity, uh, spirit, etc. Okay? So what's going on here? Their fake love bitch creates zombie-ass, vampire-ass pussy, okay? And their Babylon system, which is a vampire in its own right. It's a Greco-Roman bitch-ass, bitch-ass, Club of Rome, the heads of states and their little bitch-ass club, fucking Greco-Roman societies, the Roman Senate, and so on and so forth, Roman culture, take over the world, twist the Bible, pagan behind the scenes, bitch. Mainstream history, they used to worship the pagan deities in the same temples that they worship the Christian deities. They'd give pay homage to the de pagan deities, they go to the basement, and they pay homage to the Christian deities, so to speak. Okay? It's pretty straightforward. They don't actually worship God. They are fucking cowards. They don't actually have love. They superimpose their trickle-down pedophile culture, bitch on fucking love and its erotic desire. Now, if you told some, some couple, hey, you and your, your, your husband don't have love, would they argue with you? Yes, because they're bitch-ass motherfuckers that live in a psychological construct and don't want to live in reality. Moral precision and reality are connected. Morality, more reality. They're fucking retarded for not knowing that I'm right. They're fucking retarded for not living in a way that reflects they know definitively that I'm right. The wages of sin is spiritual death and eternal punishment. The wages of righteousness to the point where you can justify being the leader like I can is that God commands everyone to obey you. And if they sabotage and play stupid or they weren't there for a long time, they need to obey you even if you're in a fucking coma. Okay, they owe you more, not less. It's more of a principle, not less. If there's a bunch of demon ships firing at one ship of God, okay, you don't say, well, the demons are, are controlling its movements by firing at it so that I'm going to stay on the demon ship with a fucking thong or I'm going to have my own demon ship. You go to the ship of God and you carry your cross with them, you punk-ass, scared-ass, sh uh, shivering-under-a-blanket-ass pussies.